All righty, for the record, uh, my name is Mark Herman. I am the uh, elected constable with Harris County Precinct 4. Uh, today, we had a, uh, a very unfortunate situation occur here at our police station in our community. Uh, about 12.38 p.m. today, we had a uh, male suspect drive up in a white four-door sedan, uh, drove up through our parking lot, and basically opened uh, fire with a uh, what appeared to be a rifle uh, multiple times in into our office here. Uh, the bullets were clearly of a high velocity uh, uh, rifle. Uh, they went straight through the doors and straight through our walls. Uh, thank, thank God uh, there were no deputies here at this office at that time or citizens in our lobby. Uh, as you can see with, through the front doors, uh, uh, they just disintegrated our lobby. Had there been citizens sitting in there waiting for deputies to arrive for various reasons, uh, they would be killed today. Uh, I don't know, you know, what to say other than we've pushed out a, a very good description of the vehicle. Uh, pictures of the suspect will be forthcoming. Uh, we're scrutinizing video from the surrounding areas. Uh, uh, we're, we're releasing video, live video from the scene uh, when it occurred. So we hope that someone out there in our communities will see this suspect, see his vehicle, call our office or your local law enforcement. Uh, this individual must be taken off the street. He is a danger not only to society, but to himself. Because had there been deputies here, there would have been no doubt a gunfight. And uh, I'll, I'll open it up for any questions. We're, we're working on the license plate of the vehicle. Uh, uh, that's being worked on right now. We have teams of uh, uh, very professional police officers standing by that's going to deal with this suspect once we get him identified. Uh, it happened uh, according to our surveillance video here at 1238. Uh, we also captured him on other video cameras in the area. We have uh, undercover folks out getting those videos. Uh, and as far as how many gunshots, uh, a lot. And uh, I don't want to go into a specific number, but uh, I can assure you, had there been deputies here or citizens in this front lobby, uh, they would not be with us right now. And uh, that's most unfortunate. When we live in a society uh, to where you can just drive up and just open fire on a police station, uh, that says a lot. And, and you know, my question is, uh, you know, I must ask the, the citizens of Harris County, uh, have you had enough yet? Because uh, I can tell you, we have, but we got a lot more fight in us, and, and we'll continue to fight for our citizens. Can you be a little bit more specific on the location? Location of what? Of, of the facility here? Yes. Yeah, the, the location here is uh, 20,114 Holsworth Road. And as you can see, we are strategically placed in this corridor because of all the businesses and communities. Uh, we're right between the uh, Home Depot and Lowe's. Well, I mean, I, I, I can tell you, you know, we just had an officer we laid to rest a couple of weeks ago that was involved in a shooting, and uh, he was he was uh, basically ambushed, he and another officer. Uh, uh, so we're still dealing with that, but, you know, we in law enforcement, we get threats all the time. I mean, it's, it's kind of what we do. I mean, if you look at our social media platforms, I push it out. I'm probably one of the few law enforcement leaders that push out all the arrests we make. And... Uh, you know, our citizens want to see it. I mean, you don't see anything about crime fighting in any of our newspapers or anywhere else. So we've got to keep our uh, constituents informed. And, and, you know, I can tell you, I myself get, th get threats all the time uh, through social media because, you know, uh, family members' photos go on it. And, uh, you know, it is what it is. And we're going to continue to do so. But as far as this, we don't know what prompted it. Uh, we don't know, you know, but we'll, we'll find out and, and we'll get to the bottom of it. Well, right. Yeah. I mean, our deputies are used to, uh, you know, the, the uh, you know, dangers of the job. I can tell you that this individual's photograph and vehicle has been blasted out to all law enforcement agencies in this area, the sheriff's office, DPS, uh, all law enforcement in the South region. Because if he would do it to us, he may be trying to do it again to someone else today or tomorrow. And uh, you know, it's our job communi to communicate and get the word out. And we hope that get by getting this out on your outlet, someone will see.
see this individual and call law enforcement and let us safely take him off the streets. Oh, I, I, I'm 100% confident we will catch this suspect. He will be caught. No doubt. He will be caught. What kind of charges will he face? Uh, a whole slew of charges, including some federal charges, and I'll make sure of that. Uh, I've already been on the phone today with uh, individuals to file federal charges, and, uh, you know, we'll kind of go from there. We're, 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 we're doing fine. I mean, we can't be doing any other way. I mean, you know, the bottom line is if your law enforcement is not here to take care of these communi communities, there's no one else. So, so you know, how are we doing is a, is a, is a question that, that, that we've learned to live with and, and kind of slay our demons as we go. But I'll tell you one thing, we're going to find the person that did this. And, and every time you come out here to North Harris County and you commit a crime, we're going to arrest you. And the judges downtown can let you out and keep letting you out, and we're going to keep putting you in jail and doing our jobs. This here motivates me even more to get out and do our jobs. How unusual is it that nobody was here? Well, I, you know, I certainly don't want to say when we're here, when we're here, and when we're not. But it was luck of the draw because we had deputies just leave here, and we were looking at video. I think I think Captain Medina drove up 10 minutes after it happened. And uh, so, the, you know, the good Lord upstairs was looking out for the deputy constables and our citizens by not having anybody here because, uh, you know, I, I, I don't know what this individual's motive is or his beef, uh, but we can't have this in our society. I mean, there's uh, so many businesses here. So many people could have been hurt, innocent people. And uh, so so we just can't have this. There's no doubt this is hurt. I'm sorry? Is there any doubt that this there's no doubt whatsoever he specifically targeted our office. Uh, we, you know, again, we have surveillance video that he was in the area. He was parked for a while at a different location. And, uh, you know, once we get him in custody, uh, we'll find out what his motive is and, and why he would go to this uh, level to try to assault law enforcement. You said you expect to release some of the videos. Yeah, the, the, vi the video has been released right as we speak. She's done blasted that out to your medias. They have it. And uh, so, so uh, uh, I mean, you know, hopefully we can get this guy identified and get him off our streets. Can you, talk a, little, sorry, can you talk a little bit about the penetration of the rounds into your building? Yeah, I can tell you they went through the building. They're very high, they're high velocity uh, uh, bullets, clearly, and uh, they fragmented and went through through all the way through the other walls uh, in the building. And uh, you know, it's just it's it's just not good. How visible is the license plate? Uh, yeah, I don't really want to go into that, but I, I, to me, I could read it. I mean, you know, I, I think, you know, that uh, that we'll track him down through that and through other means. And, uh, you know, if anybody knows this individual, just tell us who he is so we can safely get him off the street. And if he sees this, you know, turn yourself in, do the right thing. Because uh, if not, we're going to be coming to get you. And, uh, you know, justice, she always arrives when you least expect it. That's what I found in my 36 years. And, uh, you know, if you made a mistake and, and you want to, turn yourself in we certainly want to hear from you and uh, hopefully we can get this resolved anything else all righty thank y'all so much for coming out thank you good seeing you good seeing you Lloyd. yep thank you